Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec Torelli, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to best prepare for your next poker session. I've experimented with routines over the past decade during my career as a high stakes poker player and coach, and with today, I'm gonna to share with you the best of what I've learned. But before we get into it, if you are new to this channel, welcome, and our goal here at Conscious Poker is to make this the best, most inspiring place to learn poker on the internet. And in 2019, we're releasing a ton of new awesome content to help you improve your game. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well so you don't miss our next video. Without further ado, let's jump right in. These are the four questions you wanna ask yourself before you play to ensure you're fully prepared for your next session. Question number one, have I done everything possible to get ready for this session? If you really wanna crush at poker, you need to begin treating yourself like the player you wanna become. Take a look at a pro, for example. If you look at other athletes, they all have a ritual or pregame routine that gets them ready for the game. Poker is no different. So, do you have a pregame routine that's empowering you to play your best? If not, consider adopting one. If you're like anything like most players, there's a huge difference between your A game and your C game. And formulating habits and practices that are engineered to get you to play your best will help you access your A game, thereby improving your chances of crushing it. While there are many habits that ultimately comprise winner, my favorite three ones to adopt are meditating, journaling, and exercise. None of them have to be fancy, and fortunately there are great ways to do this. Let's jump in. For journaling, simply write out your goal for the session, what you wanna focus on, and how you will measure success. Here's a pro tip. Make your focus something that you can actually control. For example, my focus is to play each hand the best way possible, keeps the entire session within your control whereas writing my focus is to leave a winner is ultimately beyond your grasp. Second, meditating is extremely easy with the app Primed Mind. They offer guided meditations called primers, which are engineered for poker players. Whether you wanna play confident, not tilt after your bad beats, or get ready for online cash games, they have a meditation for you. In as little as seven minutes, you can shift your focus from the problems of the day to gearing up to crush your poker game. You can download for the app for free at the link in the description below. As for exercise, what I find works best and most efficient is high intensity cardio or HIIT training. Basically, you wanna get your heart rate up and then let it come down as that mimics in-game play. I use these intervals to prepare mentally as much as I do physically. And during the intervals, I'm pushing myself hard while simultaneously thinking about how I wanna perform, play, and be at the poker table, simulating an in-game experience. I may even replay a hand I played during the previous session in my mind, correcting any mistakes and playing it perfectly. Then I rest, just like I do when I fold. While there are countless ways to do interval training, a simple and effective one is walking uphill on a treadmill or sprinting and then walking. Set the incline to 10.0 and walk for one minute at four miles per hour or six kilometers per hour, followed by a one minute rest at 2.5 miles per hour or four kilometers per hour. Do this 10 times with a three minute warm up and a three minute cool down, you're done in 25 minutes and you're left feeling great. Bonus points if you do this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, as it's the best way to burn extra fat. Looking for an app to help you get motivated? Check out Peloton, which offers personal trainers in your ear while you do your outdoor runs. They also have treadmill and cycling works out, workouts as well. It's awesome stuff. And my last pro tip is to make sure you've cleared everything off your plate that you can, and you can focus exclusively on poker. I know a lot of you are juggling university, full-time jobs, or run your own business, or have kids. Make sure your obligations are handled so you can go all in on poker before you play. Question number two, ask yourself, how would I feel if I lost? There's a great observation by, I believe it was Nassim Tlaib in Fooled by Randomness, which is a book every poker player should read, by the way, that winning isn't as good as losing is bad. In other words, if we win, our happiness increases by X, but if we lose, our happiness decreases by something like 2.5 X. In short, we're not getting fair odds on our happiness when we're gambling. It's important to be aware of your mental state before you play. If you are already tense, stressed, or upset, or frustrated, perhaps it's not a good day to play poker because the consequence of losing isn't worth the expectation or high of winning. In short, there's more to poker than your expectation or EV, and you always wanna be aware of how your mental state will be affected if you play. Question number three, ask yourself, what's the most I can afford to lose? Having what's called a stop loss, a fixed amount you can lose during a session before you quit, is a great idea for most poker players. Not only does this ensure proper bankroll management, but you can better manage yourself by avoiding tilt because you'll simply quit before you lose an amount that will affect your play. While stop losses vary dramatically from one player to the next, depending on your bankroll, the game, and your mindset, and a bunch of other factors, a great place to start is three buy-ins. Of course, easier said than done, I know. 
Okay, so you may be thinking, the stop loss is only for losers. I'm a pro man, like I only care about the long-term EV, blah, blah, blah. Look, we're all human. And in life, we like to think we can play well when losing. But in my experience of working with countless clients and students, most people don't. And yes, that probably means you too. Pros won't tell you this because they want you to still be in the game, but most people would be far better off quitting when they hit their stop loss and coming back fresh another day. Question number four, ask yourself, when will I quit the session? Let's be honest, poker is addicting. It's easy to get swept away and justify staying in the game long after you should have got home. Perhaps you have a pressing work obligation that you need to be fresh for in the morning. Maybe it's the kids. Maybe you're just tired and you know you're only gonna be good for another three hours. While you can always be open to change, I find that it's helpful for most players to have a sense of when they're going to quit before they start playing. Make this decision ahead of time allows us to be rational and not influenced by heightened emotions while we're in the midst of playing. Because we all know there's really nothing worse than getting buried in a game you shouldn't have been playing in in the first place. As we mentioned earlier, a prudent time to quit a session is when you hit your stop loss. Planning that out ahead of time is a great idea. You also may want to quit if you hit what's called your win cap, an amount of money that you win, which if you lose it back, would significantly affect your mental state. Perhaps you're taking a shot in a big game and the money is important, or maybe you're just happy to get unstuck from a downswing or book the win. No shame in that. Being aware of your needs on any given day is important in determining when to quit a session. Now don't worry if this step isn't perfect. Having some plan is better than having none. And besides, you can always change your mind later on. Now it's your turn. How do you prepare for poker sessions? I know the community will learn a lot from your feedback, so be sure to leave it in a comment below. Be sure to also smash that subscribe button because there's more awesome content coming to way your way to make you that crusher that everybody is afraid to play with. Thanks for your attention, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.